Ever since Roman Reigns moved to SmackDown, he has not been involved in the Universal title picture, and has instead been relegated to a sometimes embarrassing feud with King Corbin. But in 2020, that is all rumored to change, as the Big Dog will once again return to the Universal title picture, in an attempt to take down the fiend Bray Wyatt, and become champion again. And it's all currently scheduled to take place in 2020. Roman Reigns will not win the Royal Rumble match, but he will get a second chance at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. And inside the Elimination Chamber, a six-person match will be held, where the winner will face the fiend Bray Wyatt for the Universal title at WrestleMania 36. Roman Reigns will win the Elimination Chamber match and go on to face Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. When the match takes place, it will seem unlikely that Roman Reigns will be able to defeat the fiend Bray Wyatt. But in the match, Roman will prove to not only Bray Wyatt, but the world, that he is truly still one of the top stars in WWE, and in shocking fashion, will pin Bray Wyatt, as Roman Reigns once again becomes the Universal Champion, as he holds both the Blue Universal title and the Fiend Universal title in the air, as he lets the world know that you should never doubt the big dog Roman Reigns. It's currently being rumored that Edge will be returning to WWE in 2020, and he'll be coming out of retirement to wrestle. The current plan is for Edge to appear in the 2020 Royal Rumble match, but it's currently unknown if he will win the Royal Rumble match. Edge will also become a member of the SmackDown brand, and he will wrestle several times a year. On Monday Night Raw, Randy Orton is currently feuding with AJ Styles, and in 2020, their feud will become even bigger when Randy Orton tries to even the odds against AJ and the OC by forming a faction of his own with two other wrestlers as they go head-to-head -head with the OC. The two wrestlers who are rumored to join Randy Orton's new faction are Ricochet and Drew McIntyre, as Drew turns from heel to face. And the feud will culminate in an epic six-man tag team match at a yet unnamed pay-per-view. Jeff Hardy has been gone from SmackDown for several months. When we last saw Jeff Hardy, he announced that he was injured, and he had to vacate the SmackDown tag team titles, along with his brother Matt Hardy. WWE has very big plans for Jeff Hardy in 2020, and those plans may come as a big surprise for many fans. In 2020, fans will see Jeff Hardy in a completely different role. Right now, it's being rumored that Jeff Hardy will return as a heel. Further details of the plans for Jeff's heel turn include him feuding with Daniel Bryan, who recently changed his look and also changed from heel to face. Jeff Hardy will win his feud with Daniel Bryan, and Jeff will go on a winning streak, which will lead to Jeff Hardy becoming one of the top heels on the SmackDown brand, and he will definitely become a contender for the Universal title. Liv Morgan has been sitting on the sidelines for several months, but in 2020, she will make her return in a very big way. Recently, a teaser was released showing Liv Morgan preparing for her return, as her pink hair is no more, and she is back to being a blonde. The current plan for Liv's character is to have her come back as an evil heel, and Vince McMahon wants her to be Monday Night Raw's version of Mandy Rose. However, there will be some big differences between Liv's character and Mandy's. Liv will indeed wear clothing similar to Mandy Rose, but her character will have a supernatural aspect to it, as Liv will be able to put wrestlers under her spell and force them to be part of her new faction, which is rumored to be called Monday Night Liv. This man has high hopes for Liv Morgan's return and new character, and if it gets over with fans, then Liv will immediately be placed into the main event picture in the women's division on Monday Night Raw. King Corbin is currently one of the top heels on the SmackDown brand, but Visek Man is still not completely happy with his character, because there are rumors that this will be adding to Corbin's character in the near future. There was a rumor recently leaked 
that Drake Maverick will become King Corbin's new manager. Drake Maverick has done very little since his feud with R-Truth over the 24-7 title. But now Vince McMahon is ready to give Drake Maverick another chance. And this time, it will be as King Corbin's manager. It's even being rumored that Drake Maverick will do all of the talking for King Corbin once he becomes Corbin's manager. Most fans have been confused over the recent tag team pairing of former friends and bitter rivals Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. The two recently lost a TLC match to the women's tag team champions Asuka and Kairi Sane. But that may not be the last we see of Becky and Charlotte involved with each other. Because in 2020, WWE might be going back to a match that we have seen dozens of times over the past few years. In 2020, this McMahon plans on giving Charlotte Flair another massive push. This believes that Charlotte's star power has fallen off, and he needs to get her back to the top of the women's division very soon. In 2020, it's being rumored that we will see another Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch feud. And the first match in this new incarnation of the feud might take place at WrestleMania 36, where Charlotte Flair is the favorite to win the match, and once again become Raw Women's Champion. If this does happen, many fans will see this as very surprising, because most fans believed that Becky Lynch was holding on to the Raw Women's Championship so that she can one day face Ronda Rousey, and Rousey would win the title back from Becky. But from the looks of it, that will not be the case, because in 2020, Charlotte Flair will be the one who dethrones Becky Lynch, and Charlotte will be on top of the women's division like she was a couple of years ago. Vince McMahon was extremely happy at how well the NXT Survivor Series Invasion angle went over with fans, and he was impressed with several NXT superstars, so much that in 2020, he will be calling them up to join the main roster. Currently, the rumored NXT wrestlers who will officially be joining the Monday Night Raw roster are Shayna Baszler, Adam Cole, and Dominic Dijakovic, and the NXT wrestlers who are rumored to officially join the SmackDown roster are Keith Lee, Rhea Ripley, and Matt Riddle. Brock Lesnar is 42 years old, and he is currently the WWE Champion, and he only wrestles part-time. But as time goes on, Brock wrestles less and less. And in 2020, Brock Lesnar is rumored to wrestle even less than he did in 2019. There are also rumors that Brock may not wrestle anymore if a rumor comes true. There have been rumors circulating over the past few months that in 2020, Brock Lesnar will be wrestling his final match in WWE, and it will happen at WrestleMania 36, and he will be retiring from pro wrestling after the match. It's being said that Brock Lesnar's body is starting to break down, even though he only wrestles a handful of times a year. The big issue is that Brock is having problems with maintaining his massive physique, and as many wrestling fans have noticed over the past year, Brock Lesnar has been losing size, and he is also not as muscular as he was in the past. If Brock Lesnar does retire from pro wrestling in 2020, then it will definitely hurt the Raw TV ratings, because whenever Brock Lesnar appears on Monday Night Raw, the Raw ratings usually go up, which means that Brock Lesnar could have a big effect on the overall interest level from WWE fans who only watch WWE for big stars like Brock Lesnar. In recent months, no other wrestler has been pushed as much as Humberto Carrillo. This is because both Paul Heyman and Vince McMahon believe that Humberto has the kind of talent to be a main event superstar. And unlike other wrestlers who received big pushes, such as Ricochet and Cedric Alexander, and then were abruptly forgotten about, Humberto is here to stay, and in 2020, he will become a champion. The current rumored plan for Humberto Carrillo is to have him face off against US Champion Rey Mysterio for the title. And in a shocking turn of events, 
the young up-and-coming superstar will defeat Rey Mysterio to become the brand new United States Champion in what might just be Rey's final match in the company. After Humberto wins the title, the plan is to keep it on him for a long time and make him unbeatable. And then after his long US title reign, he will move on to the WWE title. As Vince McMahon and Paul Heyman both hope by that point, Humberto will be a huge global wrestling superstar. What do you think will happen on Raw and SmackDown in 2020? Leave a comment and give me your predictions. And don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling news and rumor videos.